here at Wapiti Weekend, which is near Williams, Arizona. And this is a great weekend to get families and kids outdoors. And this outdoor event is designed for our youth ages 6 to 16 in order to expose them to outdoor skills. We have about 100 kids come up with their families. This is a two and a half day event and it starts on Friday afternoon. Families start arriving and they bring their tents, their travel trailers, their motor homes, whatever they want to stay in for the weekend. And you stay two nights and the best part about it is, is you don't have to bring any food. We feed you breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, whatever is necessary. We take care of the rest for all weekend long. When the kids come in to register, they get a whole bunch of information. First, they get a t-shirt that matches and everybody wears them all weekend long. And they get a lanyard that has their name on it with the group they're in. And on the back, it has their schedule for the whole weekend. We have an archery class that the kids are introduced to bow and arrows. And they get to hold the bow and arrow and get taught how to pull and release. And they get to shoot at circle targets or they can do a 3D target, which we even have a dinosaur that they can shoot at, which is so much fun. Another class we have is fly fishing. This class is taught by Fly Fishers Arizona, and a couple members of their group come up and they give a short talk on the techniques on how to cast a fly, and the kids get to cast and try to get it in a hula hoop, and then how to tie the flies. It's a great experience. We also have kayaking and canoeing. Kids get to choose if they want to do a kayak or a canoe, and they have a little pond on site and they get to take a circle around the pond, which has a little island in the middle, and everybody just has a great time. Another fun activity the kids get to do is gold panning and metal detecting. The gold panning volunteers bring up sand that has the gold flecks in it. They put sand in the gold pans, and they put water over it, and they teach the kids how to move it in a way that the lighter material goes out of the pan and the heavier gold particles stay at the bottom. So at the end, they only have the gold remaining and they get to bring that home as a souvenir. With metal detecting, the kids get to learn how to handle a metal detector and they get to learn how far they keep it off the ground. And then when they hear a beep, they put it down and sift through the dirt and find their trinket. And often it's international money or maybe a nail, anything that's made of metal. We have a marksmanship class that is age divided. Ages six to eight learn how to shoot pellet guns and ages nine and above learn how to shoot 22s. The marksmanship class, both the pellet guns and the 22s are taught by NRA certified instructors along with experienced volunteers. We have a shotgun class for ages 12 and above that is taught by experienced NRA instructors. And it's so exciting when they are finally successful and shoot that they target. Another fun class we have is owl pellet dissection. When an owl eats an animal, they eat it whole, and then they regurgitate an owl pellet. So at first the kids think it's a little disgusting, but then they get a little competitive, and as soon as one kid finds a skull, everybody else wants to do it too, and they mark it down on their paper what animal they find or what bones they find, and they get to take it home. Another class we have is wildlife identification, and the kids get to go through and touch all sorts of different pelts and antlers. We have a class called Wilderness Survival, and in this class we teach about the three S's. The three S's are stop, shelter, and signal. And the signal is part of the fire starting. And each child gets to use flint and steel to light a cotton ball on fire. And you should see their faces when they are successful when they do this. It is so fun for them. And then the kids also learn how to make a survival bracelet out of paracord. And the kids get to learn the proper technique and take home their own survival bracelet. We also have a class presented by the Arizona Raptor Center, and they bring up hawks. And what's really fun is they will send one of their hawks out to a tree, and they let one of the kids come up, and they hold their arm out with this large glove, and they call the hawk back, and it lands right on their arm. Oh, you should see their face. Last year and this coming year, we are having it catered. Nobody goes away hungry. Everybody enjoys the food. 
This is such a fun event for the entire family and it sells out really fast. So I would recommend registering early for this fun-filled, memorable weekend.